Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Sherry Unshrunk, and with me, Sherry Estevez Armstrong. And today, we're gonna to be talking about movies. It's one of the things I am very passionate about, and I share that passion with my husband, Rodney Armstrong. And for years, we've been going to the movies together. We are hardcore movie buffs. And today we're gonna to do our we're gonna do our first movie review together. So he's gonna join me a little bit later. And we went to see the movie The Hate You Give. I um, I definitely went with to this movie with a certain impression. I, I thought I was going to be, I mean obviously I thought it was gonna be relevant and I thought that it was gonna be thought provoking and I thought it was gonna push a lot of my emotional buttons and really, really piss me off. Which it did, it did, no doubt, it really did that. Although, the other thing, but I, I wasn't really expecting, I didn't expect, first of all, to like this movie as much as I liked it. I really liked this movie. George Tillman Jr. and Audrey Wells, who is the writer, and George Tillman Jr. was the director, did a really, really great job at humanizing the black family experience. If you're the person who's never been around a black family and never experienced black love, it's really easy to alienize them as a race. And that's the type of mentality that breeds fear and hate and brutality and cultivates the desire to totally destroy another race. So I think it's really great that George Tillman and Audrey Wells went to the lengths that they went to went through to make us embrace this family and really show the history and the love that they share. I also think that George Tillman did an awesome job at really spotlighting the brutality and the suffering that the black community is going through right now without being so graphic that you can't even take your kids to the movie, which would really, really defeat the whole purpose of a film like this. Now the cast in this movie, they did their thing too. Regina Hall and Common are two of my most favorite actors and they always do a good job. But I was particularly impressed with Russell Hornsby. He played the father of the daughter of the main, the main character, Star. And he was brave, he was devoted, he was committed, he was strong. He was the type of leader of the black household that we really, really, really need to see but so rarely do. He did his thing in this movie. And I loved the relationship that he had with Regina Hall, who played the mother. They were so affectionate and loving. Now, Amanda Steinberg played the part of Star. She is amazing. She is going to be an amazing actress as she grows. She already is. She is going to be the one to watch, you guys. I think she's going to be extraordinary. She did a great job of really taking this role of Star and bringing it to life. We watched as Star, she went from being this young black girl who all she wanted to do was just keep her head down and camouflage her blackness and assimilate into this white, all white private school and just kind of like squelch and be in the corner and just pass by and not be too noticed and so that she didn't stand out too much. We, we literally watched as Star grew up right before our eyes from a young woman who all she thought about was herself and what others thought of her to realizing that her voice was one of the most powerful things that she owned and she took that she took that realization she took her voice and she used it to step into the person and the woman that she was called to be and she used it to step into her purpose hey guys listen Needless to say, if you can't tell already, I love, love, love this movie. And so next we're gonna to talk to my husband and see what he thought about it. Today, I have a very, very special guest, my gorgeous, awesome, amazing husband, Rodney Armstrong. Say hi, baby. Hi, everyone. So today what we're gonna do is talk about movies. We're gonna talk about movie reviews. And this is how we do the movies. We bring our own tasty snacks, and very nutritious and our own tasty drinks. So the first movie that we're gonna review is called The Hate You Give. And it was directed by George Tillman Jr. and written by Audrey Wells. So babe, what did you think about this movie? Well, I liked the movie. Um, it was a little deeper than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, there wasn't a lot of choices of movies to see this weekend, so thought we'd uh, support this movie. It's a small movie. It was only shown in three theaters in the Atlanta area, which was uh, 
thought that was unusual. But we found a, a theater, and the ticket prices were a little, uh, a little pricier than a normal movie ticket. Maybe, maybe even twice as much as a normal movie ticket. But we supported it anyway. <clears throat> so uh, I thought it was a lot deeper than I thought it was going to be. You know, it went through a lot of the basics of what black families have to go through. I mean, one of the points that I shared with Sherry is that uh, they went through uh, the dad having to teach the children how to behave when a police officer pulls them over. And uh, the whole fact of everything that a black family has to go through, I don't think this has been taught in any other race or culture that you have to put your hand, you have to show your hands at all times before the police officer even shows up to the car. You have to make sure your hands are on the dashboard and that they're visible at all times. And I don't think that uh, any other race uh, is taught to do that. You know, um, the fact that um, uh, African Americans are in, could be in jeopardy uh, when faced uh, with a police officer because I don't know whether it's police officers have more fear of African Americans or what the uh, what the perception is there. But the whole message was uh, teaching your children how to behave around police officers. <clears throat> and I think um, that, that message was very clear in this film. And it kind of shows you the, the perception from the police officer's point of view and from the African American's point of view. gave credit to uh, to both sides of the story and uh, I think it was a deep and riveting story and I would definitely recommend you give it a thumbs up uh, that everybody go see this especially uh, people of all races and cultures to see uh, exactly what African Americans are confronting with when being pulled over by a police officer. Wow, yeah. Um, that's great, babe, because I know for when I was raising my kids, particularly when I raised my son, I never had this talk with him. I don't know if uh, my son grew up in the Obama era. So um, it was quite a different, it, the, the climate in our country was really, really different and it's changed drastically just over the last few years. So this is not a talk that I have with my daughter or my son. So this is this is really all new to me too. And, and it seems like it's it's um, it's a survival talk that you have to have with your children these days. And it's really sad, it's a shame to me, but, um, but I'm glad that we did see this movie. And every week we also, we talk about our experience at the movie, what we both, our impressions and what we both thought of it. And we also rate it. So what was your rating on this movie bag? Oh, I would definitely give it a 9 out of 10. Okay. It was a very good movie and had a lot of symbolism in there. It explained a lot of uh, where they got the title of the movie, The Hate You Give, and put a lot of Tupac references in there. So uh, Thumbs up to Tupac. Yeah, some yeah. homage. I love the fact that they paid some homage to Tupac. Yeah, I know you're more of a biggie man, yeah. but um, I love Tupac too. Tupac and I, I, got you. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So I love the fact that they did that. Uh, we wanted to share this experience with you. We definitely both recommend, highly recommend uh, this movie. I gave it a solid nine, and I just think that everybody should go to see this movie. Bring your kids, um, bring your best friends, your, your co workers, no matter what race or you know, no matter what race they are, everybody go and see this movie. It is definitely worth your time. So definitely, we, we love this movie. We recommend it highly. It is one of our very few must-see movies. Gotta go see it. That's right. We don't give out a lot of nines. So, <laughs> and I think uh, any race or culture will, will appreciate this movie, and you can definitely learn a lot from it. So. Yep, absolutely, absolutely. Go and see The Hate You Give. Um, you'll definitely not regret it. All right, next time, so we'll see us, you'll see the Estevez Armstrong family next time at the movies. Thanks, guys. <laughs>